Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we are taking a look at an older design of mine I made. It is a uh, 4-bit, but it's ex it, it, you can expand it with a uh, 2.5 baud or bits a second, whichever you prefer, because it's just 2.5 simultaneous second. Serial transducer, or not transducer, it's a transmitter and receiver. It can do delay line, or it can just do over a standard path. I have both set up here, I can swap between them. Right now it's just on the single path, and it has a a, a, a register here to store it in, RS NOR latch, which will store the output so it's not flicking on and off. And so we, essentially we have a parallel to serial and serial to parallel parallel converter running at two and a half bits a second, or four ticks if you prefer. So we're going to send a so we're going to send a value through, and this will appear very quickly. And there you go. There we go. Or value and we're going to just uh, send another as a demonstration and there, it are. there you have it now this can also be used as, for delay line memory you'd probably want to you need to probably need a return path and a counter if you want to do full delay line mem instruction counter if you want delay line memory but this this can be the base of it uh, you just change it here you do need something like this you need for some reason the pulses on here are a bit too short so you need to pull them up to one and then three and then four and you can pull them along at four or you can run that at those at smaller intervals but it's just wasting space so we're going to say the same thing so you can see there's there's a start bit and then we have three and then that's the last bit so how this works is when you press the button it'll, first, it'll send out a three, two tick pulse first it will go into here and be sent along the line to tell the other side to get ready to start receiving. Now since the pulse is sent along the same with the same delay as the signals, this thing the signals will be all in sync, no matter what delays you put in there. Unless you mess around with different different delay different lengths on the repeaters and then you might mess up signals, but probably it'll still survive. And then it comes up here through a double torch and delayed another two ticks, so that's four ticks delay between that one and those, so it can be put on a, up to a four tick delay line. And then two ticks after that, it pushes down the first piston, which I'll let the signal from the lever through onto the shared line. Then that then it will turn off after two, two ticks, and then four ticks later, it'll fire the next one, four ticks later, fire this one, four ticks later, fire the last one. And that is basically how it sends the signal. And on the receiving side, it has a couple of uh, latches here. I guess they were called basil flops or whatever. It's supposed to be called. First one here, just make sure that this signal only goes through the first time because this thing piston will, after that, set it. This mono stable here. I know it's a very weird mono stable, but it's a mono stable nonetheless. Uh, we'll fire the pistons in the same sequence as the other side does. And then after it does so, it will reset this uh, flop here and it'll allow it to start again. And the other thing it also does is it will send a. Re is on start. How do I get that? Yeah, when the first piston fire. It's here, I think. I can't remember how I did how that's wired in right now. I'm trying to figure out. There's something under there. No, that's pistons. <laughs> well, I seem to have a wire here doing. Oh, there it is. It's coming in through this power. This the repeater here for the first piston, it'll, and I'll also fire a reset here, and then we have these here to bridge. I think you can replace half of them, but it's really not. I don't. I didn't care. You can replace diagonal pairs with the wire, and then you can shorten your delay by one tick if that really matters to you. That resets the SARS NOR here with the piston, and then the signals will come through in the same order. They'll come one at a time. Get, set the RS NOR and set the output like it does over like it is over here. Ooh, man, that's laggy. Okay. And that, yeah, that is my ser serial uh, uh, sender and receiver. Two and a half uh, baud or bits per second. Even though baud is technically an analog turn. I don't know what that'll do because I flicked it. Yep, it still set to what I actually wanted. So this has been Chartreuse K, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I do plan on making a better version of this somewhere else. This is a fairly old design of mine. So it's a bit bulky, but it works. See you next time.